So greetings from Pennsylvania once again, folks. I just got done filming my video on Route 143, exploring Pennsylvania highways. Now we're, we're still here in Lehigh County. There's some animal noises up there. I might give a hint as to where we are. But uh, there are three covered bridges here in Lehigh County that I have not gotten to. And we haven't done a covered bridge for a while. Um, but there's three of them that are right here, either in or right near what's called the Trexler Nature Preserve. And the Lehigh Valley Zoo is in here too. But our first one is called Schichter's <laughs> Covered Bridge. If I said that correctly, i got to look at the name of it again. Schichter's. I want to say Schlichter's, but there's no L in there. So let's go down and take a look. There it is down there. Yeah, just looking up the road here, some beautiful colors starting to show here in this type of weather. It's October 3rd. should mention this is our 86th covered bridge. We made it up to 85. I'm trying to keep a better count. This is the Jordan Creek that it crosses too. I think we're going to have some beautiful scenery. Don't have to worry about private property here. I think this one is within the preserve. Yeah. Yeah, there's the creek out there, Jordan Creek. Painted white on the inside, or at least it was at one point. But there's our friend, the Burr Arch. Looks like a, this looks like a double, or I call it quadruple Burr Arch. It has the two on top of each other. One here and one here, and then it also has the same thing back behind it. I think officially they call it just a double. Pretty dusty this one is. I call it a quadruple. <laughs> yeah, 1882 I believe is the date for this one. About 108 feet long. Got one little window. Looking out the creek. Yeah, that's a nice view out there. I didn't come across that it had been uh, rebuilt or refurbished at any time. A lot of this wood looks pretty old. But here you got someone knocked into it though. Busted that thick beam up. I think that's why they had this. It's almost like a guardrail here. It protects the structure itself. These, these here are not for like structural support. They don't hold the bridge up. They just kind of protect it. Got another little window over there. this one. Oh, there's a little footbridge out there. We have to try and get out there. I'll, I'll get some good views of the bridge from there. Okay. We gotta make our way out there. Alright. Yeah. Beautiful day. Make my way up here. I think we can, uh, we got to check out underneath the bridge. I think there's a little trail right here. They'll take us under, get over the guardrail here. See the bridge right up there. Oh, yeah, there's our little footbridge up there. So cool. Let's see. Beautiful red color on the outside. So, steel beams or not? I'm going to say that there are. It looks like the abutments here have been redone at some point. I'll show that to you in a moment. So, since it's 108 feet long, too, I'm guessing there's going to be some steel beam supports. It's like I said, these, these abutments look newish, like they've been replaced or redone. So let's see if we're right. Of course, before you check, you can guess. Well, oh, pigeons. Oh, we're right. Big ones over here. Quite a few of them, yeah. These are not original to the covered bridges. They were always added in more recent times to give them better support. But yeah, here's the Jordan Creek. All right, let's head over to that footbridge. Get some views of the bridge from over there. It's quite the bridge though. See, there's a, there's a view. Kind of see the covered bridge to the trees, but I think we should get a good picture over here. I 
I think so. Yeah, that's a nice scenic shot right there. Check that out. Zoom in just a little bit. Yeah. That's one thing that's nice about these bridges that are on public property or on like a nature preserve like this. You have easy access to better photo opportunities. You know, sometimes, sometimes land on either side is posted, you know, private property, and you can't really get that side view that you want, or at least that I want. So. All right, let's hit across. I might go to the other side too. I feel like there's a grassy area, grassy area over there. This side's kind of in the shade. We'll see if we can get a better shot on the other side. Like I said, it is public land, so let's let's go for it. This bridge is pretty cool though. Just cross the bridge. We want to take a look at the creek here again. This is a beautiful creek. I just noticed there's a trail headed that way. You might be able to just take that to the other side. But yeah, even this is a pretty cool shot. Seeing the bridge through the, the leaves here. Sycamore tree right here. That's kind of a cool shot. All right, let's follow this. I mean, there is a, the main trail goes up that way, but let's, let's see if we can just follow this. Let's see this. I think this will take us under the bridge on the other side, maybe. Uh, I don't think so. What's down here? <laughs> oh, frog. Um. Yeah, I think we'll head back up to the road. Oh, that's... Yay. But there's another cool shot. The trees there. This is turning out to be a very photogenic bridge, I believe. But anyway, let's, uh, let's get to the other side. Alright, well, let's see what this side holds for us quick. Uh... I'm not sure if we'll get a shot over here or not. Thought there was more open area. Let's head up this way. Um, I feel like I've been on this trail before. I know I did. I did hike all the way around the preserve at one point. This looks familiar, but our bridge is not up this way. It's down. It's down there. All right, let's try something else. All right, we found another trail. This might take you to where I need to go. Um, she could be just a little bit further away. But anyway, maybe I need to get over there. Here's another view of that bridge. All right, we're gonna head across again. But I tell you, this bridge kicks up a lot of dust. I think I need to get down to that open area over there. I just want to get a view of a sunny side view of this bridge. Yeah, that one car just raced through here. Yeah. Get an interview of the bridge <laughs> from the inside here. Yeah, since I have you know, public land on either side, I'm gonna make the most of getting some good pictures. Yeah, so let's try and see if we can get some views from down here. Yeah, this is kind of the shot I was looking for here. The sunny side of the bridge. Yeah. You can zoom in just a little bit on it. That's a cool shot right there. All right. All right. So I got the shot I wanted. I, I do like the shot from the little footbridge too, but I want that sunny side shot. So that'll be it for this video then, folks. We're gonna head to another bridge here in the park called Geiger Covered Bridge. Oh, I gotta drive across this one next. So we'll do that. Take Naomi across here. Almost forgot. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Take Naomi across, no one's coming. This bridge shouldn't make a whole lot of noise as we go across. It's pretty stable. It won't make that clackety clackety clack sound. 
yeah. All right, that'll be it for this one, folks. We're heading off to the next one, the Geiger Covered Bridge. So hopefully I'll see you there.